lovely people. Some of you might have seen the title and thought... Um, yes, that's my point exactly. But I'm gonna clear this up, okay? Being blonde isn't just about a hair color. It's a way of life, or a state of mind, if you will. And, just like any feature that we are born with, it comes with both positive and negative connotations. I'm gonna guess you already know which one I'm gonna focus on. The biggest, and probably most obvious, downside of being blonde is the whole dumb blonde stereotype. Now, I didn't set out to prove that all blondes are geniuses, because that's far from the truth. We have about the same average intelligence as just about any other hair color. There are smart blondes, and there are dumb blondes. There are smart brunettes and redheads, and there are dumb brunettes and redheads. But for a second, just think about all the dumb blondes that you know in your life. Picturing them? Okay. Now, how many of them are actually bleach blonde brunettes? Based on my personal experience, that's probably about 70%. But I am constantly trying to combat this stigma, which means that any slip up in brain function sets me back, even if it's a common brain fart that can happen to anyone else. Hey, what's the date? It's the 9th. Oh, thank you. Hey, uh, what's the date? <laughs> it's the 9th, Blondie. My accidentally super gluing my hand together earlier this week probably doesn't help either. But just for the record, most of my friends are brunette and I have always gotten better grades than them. And if you guys are watching, it's nothing personal, I'm just trying to prove a point. That being said, I actually have nothing against blonde jokes. They're probably my favorite kind of joke right after dead baby jokes. I know, how can I forget when you keep reminding me? But probably my favorite blonde joke that doesn't involve telling a minute long story is how do you drown a blonde? Well, yes, that's one version, but my favorite variation is putting a scratch and sniff sticker at the bottom of a pool. <laughs> it's also hard being a blonde while using strong amounts of sarcasm, which just so happens to be my coping mechanism for awkward situations. Most of my friends and family actually get it, but when I'm in the company of people who just don't understand sarcasm, they think I'm being serious. You know that bread has like a ton of carbs, right? What? This has bread in it? I thought it was a sparse salad with a side of air! Ugh, that's obviously a sandwich. Come on. Hey, this is some party, huh? Party? Oh, I thought this was a funeral. Dumb blonde, there's no dead body here. Not yet, anyway. But how would I go about hiding a dead body? I guess acid is an option, but the smell might attract vermin. And what would that do to my drains? If I buy Drano in bulk, would that solve the problem? Hey, what are you thinking about? Huh? Um, nothing. There is nothing going on inside my head right now. Just empty space. Yep. Think you got nothing, dumb blonde. And this, in turn, continues to add on to the stereotype. I also get the vibe that we're supposed to be these happy, bubbly balls of sunshine 24-7. And that just isn't the case. We can be depressed and upset just like anyone else. But one look at the hair, and all people see is... I am just so happy and carefree, and I can never be sad because my hair won't allow it. <laughs> I'm dead inside. I've tried to balance this out by wearing a lot of black and having a cynical sense of humor. But at least blondes have more fun. Oh, really? I'll try and remember that the next time I have finals. I am taking 17 credits this term, and they all have exams. I have two presentations to do this week, and I am terrified of public speaking. I have several large papers due at the same time with unclear instructions, and one of them is on a film that I have to watch during my own time, and I don't have any time, and I have an art project due that I haven't even started yet. Yeah, I am having so much f fun. That's not even an exaggeration. That was literally me a week ago. <sighs> I'm having fun. Hmm. Yeah, well, your definition of fun might be a bit different from the rest of the population. And less ethical. So yeah, sorry for the rant, but it's just something that's been bubbling in me for a while now. But I just feel like I don't get taken seriously, and maybe the hair actually has nothing to do with that. But I felt any other options would involve too much self-reflection, and I just decide I'd rather blame the hair. Maybe I should just get some hair dye and shut up about it. And I'm not trying to bum out people that aren't blonde, this isn't what this is about. I'm just trying to bring forward another point of view. Okay, I've had just about enough of you. Whether your hair is blonde, brunette, or any other color of the rainbow, I hope your week is fantastic and I will see you next time. Bye.
Also, sorry for the underrepresentation of redheads in this video, but uh, the only red-haired wig I have is this one, and I felt that that would just be even more offensive. <laughs> Some of the artists were also doing demonstrations. 